Hey everybody, it's Paula here from the Exile Club and welcome to today's video. What we're going to look at in today's video is the use of advanced filter to extract data with one criteria. And this is using advanced filter in Excel versions prior to Excel 365 because with Excel 365 you have the new filter function and you can use dynamic arrays to filter data. So for those that aren't using Excel 365, the advanced filter to extract data with one criteria or multiple criteria is the way to go. But before we get stuck into this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit that notifications button so you don't miss any more of my videos. And please do give this video a thumbs up. If you like the content here, also please feel free to hop over to my website. You'll find a link below the video. So let's get stuck in now to looking at extracting data with one criteria using advanced filter in Excel. In this video, I want to take a look at the use of advanced filters to extract data with one criteria. So we have a table of data and it contains dates, products, sales rep, region, cost, price, units sold, sales value and profit. And let's just say we wanted to filter all of this data by one criteria, for example, the region. And we wanted to filter it, but pull the filter into a different location. Well, we can use the advanced filters to do this. And when you're using the advanced filters, it's very important that you set up your criteria table in a specific way. So to set up the criteria table, you must have all of the headers of your original data set must be placed in its own table. This is called your criteria table. Now, when you only have one criteria, all you need to do is add the criteria under the right header. For example, we want to filter this table by just all of the sales for Dublin. Then go to data and in data go to advanced. And advanced says do you want to filter the list in its place or do you want to copy to another location? We're going to copy it to another location. Then it asks you for the list range and this selects all of the data in the range that you want to filter from. After this, it looks for your criteria range. Now, this is your criteria table, and it includes all of the headers, even if your criteria are not included, and the row directly underneath that contains the actual criteria. Then, where do you want to copy it to? Well, we're going to copy it over here. And finally, do we want unique records only? Well, no. But if you wanted unique records, I'm going to show you this in one second, you can use this option. So let's say OK here, and we'll see now what we've done is filtered this table to just the sales of Dublin and brought it in as a smaller table. So that's an awesome tool if you want to filter data based on one criteria. What we'll do is look at filtering data based on two criteria in the next video.